Good day everyone, I am Diana A. Sosa and my co-researcher Ms. Irene Agaa are here to present our action research entitled DIY Vocabulary Cards for Difficult Words. The purpose of this study is to improve the reading comprehension of pupils by widening their vocabulary through DIY vocabulary cards. Our research design methodology and approach, the researchers used a quantitative type of research, one group pre-test post-test design. It was conducted on 28 pupils of grade 5 Masipag under the instructional and frustration level assessed from Peel Erie Comprehension Test. Vocabulary size test was administered before and after the intervention. Peel Erie Post Test was also given after the intervention. Our findings, the result of the study showed that there was an improvement in the vocabulary size of the pupils from 45.1 min in the pretest to 48.5 min in the posttest with a p-value of 0 0.04. Similarly, there was an increase in mean scores in the Phil Erie Comprehension Test from 3.84 min in the pretest to 5.05 min in the posttest with a p value of 0 0.004. Research implications the use of DIY vocabulary cards showed a significant difference on pretest and posttest, both in uh, vocabulary and comprehension, and is effective since the performance of the pupils have improved. Thus, it is recommended for school use. The Department of Education has established a program called Every Child a Reader Program which aims to make every Filipino child a reader and writer at his own grade level. This only shows that government knows how important it is for a child to be able to read and write. The proponent administered the Philippine Informal Reading Inventory or the Phil Erie last June 20, 2019 on 40 grade 5 Masipag pupils of Tres Cruces Elementary School. Phil Erie is done yearly by teachers to determine the pupils' reading ability. This is the comprehension level of grade 5 Masipag pupils. Among the 40 pupils, only 12 or 30% were in the independent level in comprehension. 6 pupils or 15% on instructional level and 22 pupils or 55% are on frustration level. Because of this alarming result, the proponent decided to conduct an action research to attempt to lessen the problem in reading comprehension. Bash in 2016 stated that vocabulary is very vital in language acquisition and Salabati and Salehi in 2016 believed that when the vocabulary improves, the improvement of language abilities follow. According to Newman and Wright in 2014, what the person understands depends on the size of his vocabulary. Ibrahim Sarudin and Muhammad in 2016 cited that vocabulary size is one important factor that enhances reading comprehension. In the study done by Komachali and Kodaresa in 2012, they concluded that the contribution of vocabulary flashcard in teaching vocabulary to students led to a higher level of vocabulary improvement. For our research questions, number one, what is the vocabulary level of student at risk of grade 5 masipag before the intervention? Number 2. What is the vocabulary level of student at risk of grade 5 masipag after the intervention? Number 3. Can DIY vocabulary cards improve learners' vocabulary size? And number 4. Is widening the vocabulary enough to help the pupils improve their reading comprehension? For our innovation, intervention, and strategy, here are some samples of our DIY vocabulary card done by the pupils. What is DIY vocabulary card? The do-it-yourself vocabulary cards are personally made by the learners. It is a 4 inches by 5 inches cards which the learners can write the word they have difficulty in understanding. Write its meaning, synonyms, antonyms, parts of speech, sample sentence, direct translation to their mother tongue, and draw a picture of how they understand the word. How to use the DIY vocabulary cards? The proponents will give text from Pill Erie. The respondents will read the selection and find as many as 5 uh, to 10 words they have difficulty in understanding. The learners will write one difficult word per card. 
In each card, he will write its meaning, synonyms, antonyms, parts of speech, sample sentence, direct translation to their mother tongue, and draw a picture of how they understand the word. He can use a dictionary provided by the school library. Thus, uh, the cards will be secured by a binder ring. After making the DIY vocabulary cards, the learners will review it with his teachers and peers, then read again the selection and see if he can comprehend it better by answering the question based from the selection. Why DIY vocabulary cards? The learner can choose which word he has difficulty in understanding. Bash in 2016 stated that vocabulary is the basic part and key element to learn any language. So the more words he can unlock the meaning, the more he will understand what he is reading. Why DIY vocabulary cards? McCartan, as cited in Marita and Daki 2017, mentioned that learning vocabulary is largely about remembering. And students generally need to see say and write newly learned words many times before they can be said to have learned them. The DIY vocabulary cards are personally made by the learners because according to Sheridan and Mark Slag, in 2017, vocabulary cards are specially useful tools when made by the learners. They can make it colorful and design it for their own preference. The Action Research Method the study will use a type of research, one group pretest, post-test design. For ethical reasons, the proponents will secure a sense for minors and parental consents prior to the conduct of the study. Participants and or other sources of data and information. The study will be conducted on 28 pupils of grade 5 Masipag under the instructional and frustration level assessed from Phil Erie on July 2019. Proponents will assess the vocabulary level of the respondents using the vocabulary size test of Nation, ISP, and Beglar of 2007. Then before the intervention, the DIY vocabulary cards intervention will run for 15 days, 60 minutes, and this is 60 minutes a day. Then after 15 days, vocabulary level will be assessed again using the vocabulary size test of Nation, ISP, and Beglar of 2007. Use prior the intervention. Right after the assessment of the vocabulary level, the fill e post test will be taken from the, by the respondents. The 28 respondents of the study took tests before and after the DIY vocabulary cards intervention. The data was analyzed quantitatively. The vocabulary size test for pre-test is 45.1. For the post-test, we have 48.5. The p-value is uh, 0 0.4. As you can see, there is a significant difference. Then, in the Phil Erie compre Comprehension Test, for the pre-test, we have 3.84. For the post-test, we have 5.05. The p-value is uh, 0 0.004. Then, as you can see again, there is a significant difference. Graph shows the comparison of pre-test and the post-test of Phil Erie during the comprehension of 28 pupils. So from zero, zero percent, it raised, it increases to thirty-two point fourteen percent. Then from third, the first, uh, instructional is from point fourteen percent to fourteen point twenty nine percent, and then the frustration goes down from sixty seven point eighty six percent to. 53.57%. So by looking at the result in table 2, we can see the escalation of percentage in independent level from 0% to 32.14% or from the from 0 pupils to 9 pupils and a decrease in percentage in frustration level from 67.86% to 53.57% or from 19 pupils to 15 pupils. Therefore, the, the researchers concluded 
that by using the DIY vocabulary cards, the vocabulary can be increased, leading to the improvement in reading comprehension. So, as our action plan, the overall findings of this study showed that the DIY vocabulary cards can be a useful tool in vocabulary and comprehension of the learners. Thus, the researcher will encourage other educators to utilize this tool in helping their learners. Thank you.